Hello, April viewers, and welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Where today I'll be reviewing Dying Phantom Season 1, Episode 6 What You Want. In this, we find out Tucker is a bit envious of Danny of his ghost powers. Now, this isn't anything new, like superhero cartoons. There have been a few shows where the best friend of the title character is. Zealous of him having the power to let himself. We've seen this in Static Shock, American Dragon, I think, in a Paris episode, but that's, that's not a cartoon, but whatever. Anyway, this story is narrated by Tucker to say, to say, uh, it's on his point of view of what Danny is doing. And um, when the ghost genie sort, sort of a uh, Bag, bagger, uh, bag girl, so so as I make starts granting wishes. She grants Tucker's wit to have gold powers like Danny. Now, at first it was it's kind of a he's kind of good with them like just messing around, playing pranks and that. But the more times he gets angry at Danny, the further he goes to turn. Into it's like a monster, just just like a, a a troll or something. Anyway, the bad guy or so I say bad girl in this episode is named Desiree, a goat's genie. So don't know how that will happen, but eh. her backstory is this: she was a basically a handmaiden for the sultan or. Something that promised her her deepest desire, but when she found out that he was cheating on her, she, she was in great despair. And now her spirit has to grant the deepest desires of anyone that she hears wishing. The see, I'll grant a few wishes before I uh, don't the Tucker. Like he came with, he had a lot of can, candy floss and was made a candy floss monster. And uh, Paulina, the popular girl in the school, which she, she was beloved, like uh, this uh, anime character, and just turned her into a mini human version of what I think it's just slime Hello Kitty. And that is just looks disturbing to me, it was. <laughs> and also in this episode, Danny gets a new power. Ecto blasts, kind of like ray blasts, but with ecto energy. It's pre pretty useful, a good uh, offense and defense power, but hmm. and I think he uses that more than some of the other powers he develops over the season. It's about to see some freezing power, but I'll get to that when I get to it. Yeah. And the defending defending device of the week is the defending ghost catcher. It's like a dream caster, but it just splits ghosts down. And when Danny goes through it, his human half and ghost half just split apart. And the, but then, but then the ghost half just oh, just go back into Danny. So, hmm. it kind of the episodes that are coming up. It's actually one of the big ones. Kind of contradicts this, but again, I'll get to that when I get to it. And I don't know why the ghost caster is the size of a giant magnifying glass, but what the heck. Anyway. Like a lot of episodes, Tucker and Danny fight like with their powers and that and Tucker sees the error of his ways after Danny puts him through the ghost ghost caster and Tucker sees what the monster he could have became if he stuck with the powers. And Sam isn't really in this because she had a cold at the end. Tucker and Danny get the cold because, as Tucker said, they share everything. They're like bros. Hmm. And one of the weirdest parts of it is when Tucker and Danny are fighting inside Pauline's his body. They just, they're both. Overshadow, Paulina, one, one moment is 
she's talking in Torpor's voice, and Danny is just back and forward. It's just. It's weird. This episode just got down weird a little. Like. It just. I don't think they actually talk this true. Like, I don't think get Tucker would just abuse his power that much. Like, I. They probably abuse it a little. But not, not for payback or aiding or just for getting the movies for free or, or something like that. It's just. Ugh. I give this episode a 6 out of 10. And next episode, Danny has to face one of his biggest enemies. And I'll see you guys later.